What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, uh... Message. Oh, seems familiar. It does kind of seem familiar. Lots of, uh... Lots of cathedral vibes from Dark Souls 3. But either way, the dog is down. So let's continue... Uh, probably fighting our way past a bunch of zombie things. Well, it really opens up here. Uh, so I can go to the left. Or I can go that way and seemingly drop. Uh... Just check up here first. I feel bad breaking all the pop boys. This area just sucks. This is... Wow. Wow. That's... That's... That's toxic. That is not... No. Do not like... Way too much bullshit. I need, um... Yeah, hopefully that makes a difference, because these I cannot... I can't tackle all that bullshit. There's just way too much happening. Um, let's go this way. See what we find. The area of trap. Oh. Hoping that I can like nope. I was hoping I could attack all of that stuff from behind. Oh, that's a teleporter. This Moongrum, Karen Knight. I don't think I want to go mess with you just yet. Well, let's see where it sends me. Church of Vows. Oh, 
gold sewing needle, gold tailoring tools. Whoa. Sup, turtle bro? You're tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Where shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the capital and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You yeah, none of that. <laughs> that didn't explain anything to me. As your guide, only my if unless perhaps you are in search of destruction. Oh, magic glint blade, carrying great sword, grants blessing, gradually restoring HP, hold to continue praying and delay activation. Give a scroll. I can give you my scrolls, or I can give you my prayer books. Uh, that spell sounds very nice. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to hit 4,000, though. Atone for sins. Use Celestial Dew to receive absolution. Okay, so this is, this is where we get rid of our sins, and then I can get forgiven. Where are we at exactly? Way we're at, yeah, east. Uh, Grace, okay. So I gotta find that Dew of Absolution so that I can purge the sin to try and talk to the lady. I mean, I could give this guy my stuff and, um... Church of the Cuckoo... Academy... That was this one. Yeah. Yeah, so... I need to get my sin forgiven so I can try talking to that lady and see what happens. Not this. We went to Bait Parlor, maybe? I think the bait parlor was where we were at when we beat the boss. I kind of want to fight that dude, but at the same time, um, I don't know. I think if I, 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 yeah, I think if I take the other path, like if I fight my way past this stuff, it'll lead me over to that door that opens, and hopefully another grace. Flame of Frenzy is nasty. That definitely is stronger than it was in the, the network test. But those guys are weak to fire. How do I even proceed, man?
Damn. Okay. Those uh a scaling on the Kukri. I, I didn't notice that. But that's that's pretty hefty. One stone wet blade. So now I can make stuff magic scaling. Oh, one of those things. That's nice. I didn't even see that because I went straight for the, the jump. Um... Okay, well, let's uh, go this way, I guess. I hate how little my poise is, bro. Like, I block one attack and try to attack and he just staggers me out with a book. A book! My guy hit me with a book! Book should not stagger me. I'm not asking for a lot here. Burger King mask. Uh, damn, it has less poise. Oh, well, we found it at least. I see some goodies over there. God, I've, I've been sitting on one golden seed forever, seemingly. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, they definitely cleaned that up from the network test, because I remember I was having problems getting multiple hits on a single enemy. And now, it's just like, oh, you're fighting something big? Let's melt its entire face. Like, that is, that's really, really good. Where do we... What the hell? Is there a doorway over here or something? Oh, god, no. Dude yanked me back. Uh, I'm, I'm like trying to think where I'm supposed to go. There's so much that's it's like so confusing to me. Because like clearly we go that way. I mean, that's the only way we can go. Hang on. I open this shortcut, so I think this would lead somewhere. Is there a jumping path that I'm missing? This just brought me around. Is there something? Oh, no. I jump. Yeah, I probably jump over here, and I start going across those rooftops to get over to places. There's that battle, though. See, what I don't get is that door was locked. 
and the door over there was locked. God. Uh, I should try and kill that thing, probably. Lure him over to kill the crab. I can. Damn. Or or he'll just kill me. There's got to be like a, a trick to these things, like you hit the mask and they fall down for a critical or something like that. So places I could go right now. I can go over that way to fight the dude past the trap. I can take that shortcut and jump onto those buildings. Oh god, bro, no, what? So I think that you gotta bait out the internals of it. Bait out the internals and then whack it. That seemed to be the most damage. How much did I need to level up? Eleven, eight, seven, two, six. All right, let's go kill the crab real fast. I'm gonna level up, and then I'm gonna try and fight dude, and then we're probably gonna take that other route. Oh no. Been another crab over here. Okay, uh, debate parlor. 
yeah, so we're going to level up. We'll go fight uh, Sorcery Man, see how that goes. Shit. 400. 400. I think you're worth like three. No, four. Perfect. Oh my god. Like 30 short. Ugh. I really want to focus. I think I just need to, like, I don't know. I want more faith, but at the same time, I need to just get my health up, man. My health is, is too low for my current play style. Uh, flasks. Six and one sounds good. What was the golden tailoring tools for? Allows demigod garb alterations. Alright, let's go try and fight the dude. Expected to get hit, so. Why did I waste that? Uh, just you and me. Damn it, you little shit. We're going to try using this. Big boy, let's see. Can I lure him out where the trap's at? <laughs> oh, that's funny.
Damn, that comes out so fast. Fuck. He stabs, and then the roll catch with that sword is super effective. I think I gotta go back to the hammer. Either that or I just lure him into the trap a few times. That was pretty funny. What was weird is I tried to do a counterattack and it felt like it didn't work. I wonder if I could block... I mean, I would take a... I would definitely take a hit, but basically block the, uh... Block his soul greatsword thing and then block and counterattack when he tries to do his thingy. I didn't think you could parry charged heavy attacks like that. Well, the bloodstains are justified. This dude's a beast. Uh, and we've done like nothing. It's been... This game's... There's so much, man. It's been 30 minutes and we've just like... Explored a snippet of an area and then just gotten our ass beat by some dude. We're gonna go for the trap cheese. like he knows now. In the end, Zug Zug prevails, and Carrion Night Shield was the strongest in the network test. It needs 15 int. Oh, the Garburst isn't as high. Never mind that.
All right, since he's down, let's uh, find a grace. We can go that way now. Where does this go? That has like big final boss of this area vibes. So I don't think we want to do that just yet. All right, well, we got the invader down. Well, not really invader, but y'all know what I mean. Let's wrap up here. Um, there's still a good bit left of this place to explore, so I'll catch y'all in a little bit.